Hi everyone, in today's video, I'm gonna talk about how you can get discounts on real estate and get a cheaper price per square foot when you're buying your properties. Coming up. Hi everyone. This is Ernesto from Attaboy Cowboy and on this channel we give you health and wealth advice to help you be more successful and so that you'll invest more in your environment. So I've had some friends looking for houses and they're telling me, dude, how do I get a house that's reasonable, man? They're really expensive. They're really expensive. So, okay, that's a good question. Now the first thing you want to do is you want to calculate, do some math, calculate the price per square foot for the land and for the building. And we talked about that in another video. That's important because you need to make sure you're, you're comparing the same things. You don't wanna get a house that's a thousand square feet on a 1200 square foot lot for let's say 200,000. And then you see over here that's a, a thousand square foot, but it's a 30,000 square foot lot. It's a huge lot and it's maybe few thousand dollars more maybe it's fifty thousand dollars more which is a lot but for the land no it's way cheaper so that's the first thing you want to look at look at the price per square foot of the structure you're buying and the land and compare those two across all the properties you're looking at like if you're looking at five or ten properties or twenty you want to compare them that's how you're going to figure out what the real price of the property is this is one of my favorite strategies. This is kind of like a hack. You know, people like to say hacks now. So hacks are ways around things or some way to kind of beat the system. When you look at houses, single family houses, I was looking at some with my friend. He was looking at one bedroom houses here in Los Angeles and they're outrageous. They're about $500,000, let's say for a thousand square foot house that's a one bedroom. Right, so that's pretty expensive. It's about $500 per square foot. Now, what we found was we found a house that was a duplex, and it was actually the same price, 500, but instead of being a thousand, it was 2,000 square feet. So that one is actually half the price. It's 2,500 per square foot. And he's asking me, well, why is that one so much less? Why is it basically half the price? That's a good question because most people are looking for a house. They're not looking to become landlords. And they're also, the way our, our finance system is set up, the home mortgages are much more accessible. They're much easier to get than an investment property loan. But the thing is, it's not necessarily any easier to qualify. So if you qualify for a home mortgage and you're buying a house, you're most likely gonna be able to qualify for a mortgage to buy a duplex. So you just kind of have to change the way you're looking at things, your perspective. He was able to get this duplex at basically half the price of the house. And there's a lot less competition because people are looking for houses. They're not looking for investment real estate. Something like 80 some percent of the properties that are owned are houses. And the majority of people that look for property are house hunters they're not investment property uh, seekers or hunters so you're gonna have a lot less competition because you're not gonna have all these homeowners looking for duplexes they're busy over here looking at houses you're gonna be over here looking at duplexes now let's say you buy the duplex you're like hey man I don't want to be a landlord okay that's up to you if you don't want to do that don't all you have to do is make sure the property is vacant and you just take over both of them I have a friend that bought one recently he got a permit, knocked down the wall, and made the whole thing into one wall, into one house. He basically doubled the square footage of his house easily. So he got the house half price. Another thing you wanna do when you buy these properties is right away boost the price up so you can refinance it, pull money out for other investments. And one of the easiest ways is to plant trees. Here in the US and pretty much everywhere, Adding a tree to your property is worth about $10,000 per tree, just for planting trees. So if you can plant some trees and grow them quickly, you're gonna build the value of your house by 10,000 for every tree. 
think about this. Think about if you're buying a house, wouldn't you like to have a nice full grown lemon tree in your yard or an orange tree where you can get some fresh oranges, make some orange juice, or even just having a nice big tree that you have some shade under. So you could have picnics or do whatever, or for your dogs they hang out under. Trees are an excellent investment. They, they have a lot of impact on the environment and they're great for your property value and they increase the curb appeal immensely. So if you're thinking you might wanna sell, plant some trees in the front, that's gonna make your property look a lot bigger. Drive down your street and look at the houses that don't have any trees. The houses look much smaller and they look boring. It doesn't matter how cool you paint it, it just looks boring, even if you have nice plants in the front. Now drive in front of some houses that have trees. It just, it's a psychological thing and it changes a perspective. You know how people go to those selfie museums and they take those pictures of people and it looks like they're upside down, but they're really not? It's that kind of thing. Trees are gonna make your property look a lot bigger. So it's gonna have a higher perceived value. So it's gonna be easier to sell and you're gonna get a lot more money out of it in the market. Thank you again for listening. If you have any questions, please comment below.